G'day all. Uh, a bit more done on Coles VJ. Um, laid out some sound deadener in the thing. It'll be interesting to see how it, uh, how much different it is with this stuff in it. I uh, took it for a drive before uh, pulled the seats and the old mats and that out. And uh, it was a pretty nice car inside anyway because it's such a low K tight sort of a car. But um, we decided to lay. Well, Cole decided to lay this shit in. I give him the option. And he said, oh yeah, well why not, it's a cheap alternative, I picked up the full roll on eBay for about 120 bucks, I think it was. And um, he come over and gave his hand, we cut her all out and laid it in, and it rolled in nice, nicely into the contours of the floor. Um, yeah, it didn't do anything it wasn't supposed to do, really, it um, all sat nice and uh, went where it was supposed to, and that, that's the full roll that done the complete floor of the car, so we'll uh, see how it goes with the with the sound dead in there and then the, the new carpet and the underlay in it that should be pretty quiet inside it's a great old car this thing
As you can see, we put a bit of a jukebox in this old girl. She's got a amplifier there under the back, Pioneer, a set of seven by ten Kenwood speakers in the rear parcel shelf, and um, a pretty flash little Pioneer remote control Bluetooth head unit with the hands-free and Spotify and all the doohickeys and gadgets you need. So it should sound all right. Alright, so as you can see, getting some new carpet in the old girl, some underlay underneath it, should soften the floor up a bit and make it pretty quiet, as you would have seen there a minute ago. Uh, we tidied the rear corner up, uh, another tailgate housing, and another tailgate housing, another tail light housing. Um, made it look respectable for Rego, that was about all we had to do was uh, make her look pretty and get her through a road weather certificate which I think that'll do the job just fine and then later on down the track we'll give her a coat of paint. 